Hi, this is Mr. Eaton with Year 7, Video Lesson 3.9, called Spatial Patterns. And as always, remember to write some notes in the study notes section of your exercise book, and also to put the video on pause whenever you need to make these notes or to do some of the practice questions. Well, what is a spatial pattern? Well, a spatial pattern is a sequence of geometrical shapes. So this, this is a geometrical shape that can be described by a number pattern. So, for example, if we go to that particular square over there, we have four matches to make that particular shape. If we have a look at that shape over there, we have eight matches to make that shape. And if we go to that shape over there, we have 12 matches to make that shape. So we are repetitively adding four to get to the shape. And when we add this shape, we're adding another four to give us 12, to give us this particular geometrical shape. So we can represent this number pattern over here in a table. So we'll take the first geometrical shape, and I've called this a diamond. So the first diamond, I used four matchsticks to make it. What about my second one? My second shape, I've used eight matches. And how about my third geometrical shape? Well, my third geometrical shape, I've actually used 12 matches. Have a go at working at the fourth, fifth, and the sixth shapes out. Tell me how many matches I will need to use to make those particular shapes. All right, so my fourth shape, I need 12, add another four, so that is going to give me 16. My next one would be 16, add another four, it's going to give me 20. And my next shape is going to be 20, adding another 4, giving me 24. So when I get to my sixth shape, I'm going to need 24 matchsticks to actually make it. All right, well, spatial designs can also start with a simple geometric shape, so like the square over here. But unlike in the previous slide, we're only adding 3 to it. So this is our starting design, and then we're adding 3 to it to actually get our next design, our next shape. And obviously adding these three over here to our previous shape to get our new shape. Alright, so we can actually put that information into a little table like this. So our first shape, which is this one over here, our first shape we need four sticks to make it. What about our second shape, which is this one over here? Well, we've got our original four and we're only adding another three. So four add three is seven. Awesome. What about our third shape, this one over here? Well, we've got our seven, which is all of that over there, okay? Now we just need to add those three on top of it. So it becomes seven, add three being 10. See if you can work out the fourth, fifth, and the sixth different shapes and how many matchsticks I need for each of those. Put the video on pause and give it a go. All right, well, for our fourth shape, we're going to have 10 matchsticks, and we're going to add 3 to it. So we're going to have 13. All right. For our fifth shape, we're going to have 13, add another 3. So that's going to give me 16 matchsticks. I need 16 matchsticks to make that one. What about my sixth one? Well, I've got 16 matchsticks already. I'm going to add 3 to it. So I need 19 matchsticks to actually make my sixth shape. All right, time for you to do a little bit of work. Um, why don't you draw the next two shapes in the spatial pattern? So I want another two shapes on here. And also I want you to complete the table. All right, put the video on pause and give it a go. All right, well, here you have the solution. Obviously it wasn't too difficult. We've got three matchsticks over here to start with. So our first shape, we need three matchsticks. Our second shape, we've got three already, and we just added three onto it. So our second shape is three Add another three to give me the six. The third shape, well, we've got our six already. We're adding another three onto it. So my third shape is six. Add three, giving me nine. So the fourth shape is this one over here. Again, just adding another three onto it. So four. The fourth shape, rather, is nine. Add another three, giving me 12. And obviously the fifth shape over here requires 15 matchsticks. I'm sure you got all that right. And well done. And pretty much that's the end of spatial patterns.